John Tully. Am I to understand, Q1, that you let the factory escape? Down the fire escape. Why didn't you call in Section M and have the hotel surrounded? Uh, well, I, I, I thought of that, of course, uh, but I... Uh, you see, if I did that, I'd have to explain about the uh, security leaks. Very soon the Russians would know. The Russians know already. And the Americans. Ah, no. Washington must not find out we've had more leaves. On second thoughts, you were right, Major, not to call in help. Oh. If your own section can't track down the factor, I shall consider it gross inefficiency. Oh, but we shall. Uh, we found out which agent they'd chosen for the mission. South uh, was the one whose cards made the most numbers, a woman known as Lucy. She must have taken the envelope with the factor's instructions in it. Madam, can I help you? That boy! He's stolen my bag! Leave it to me, madam. You wait here. Take the bag. Factor's instructions. Quick, Lucy's coming. Hold on to that. Okay, what now? Good man. Oh, thank heaven for that. Oh. 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 Thought back, did he? I'll say shit. He did. Haven't we met before? Uh, met? Us? <coughs> Never. I could swear I've seen you before. Now then, if you'd just like to make a statement. A statement? Yes, about the attempted robbery. First a name and address. Uh, that won't be necessary. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Go to Foxgloves, Leaf Lane, Shingley. We must find out who lives at that address. Professor Martin, from the Elmsdale Research Centre. Elmsdale? But that's where they're working on DD2X. Um, arrive 10 p.m. Friday the 18th. The 18th? That's tonight. Professor Martin is attending a science conference in London tonight. The housekeeper leaves the house at 6. Then it'll be empty. Ah, yes, I see. Um, the formula is in the safe in the study. Formula? Well, for the explosive, most likely. Oh, well, we, we can't let them get hold of the formula. Ah, uh, let me see. Better not alarm the professor. You two go to this house after the housekeeper leaves and before Lucy gets there. Remove the formula from the safe and... Uh, substitute a fake one. And substitute a fake... Don't interrupt me. How do we open the safe? How? Yeah. Um, for the key to open the safe, see below. C-O-D-T-F-E-V. It also says note the safe and other furnishings. What does it mean? 
been. Well, that's obvious. Perfectly straightforward code. Oh? So what's the answer? Ah, well, I thought I'd uh, let you two work that out for yourselves. I'll uh, drop in there later on, uh, when you open the safe, and, um... Take the credit. And take the credit. No! Oh, now you must get a move on. Off you go. And if you don't succeed, I shall consider it gross... Inefficiency. There's the safe. Don't move. What's the matter? Cigar box? No. A movement detector. Okay. How does it work? It's a combination lock with 20 numbers to choose from. Security 12. I guess you need a combination of 12 numbers to open it. And we have to find the right numbers. How many combinations of 12 numbers can you make from 20 numbers? About 4,000 million million. I think this is some kind of table, and we have to fill in the missing numbers. Three lines, four numbers in each line. Well, that makes 12 numbers. Just what we want. Two of them are filled in already. It's probably a guide to tell us if we're on the right track. Note the safe and other furnishings. That could be a clue. What about the safe? Oh, it's big, solid, square. Solid, three-dimensional. The professor wouldn't call it square. He'd call it... A cube, like this. That's it. C for cube. So cube here should tie up with the letters down the side here. F, E and V. What would F stand for? Hmm. Something to do with a cube. What does a cube have? Faces, of course. That's it, F for faces. Six of them. And the six is filled in. We are on the right track. E next. What else does a cube have? Beginning with E. Uh, how about edges? Edges, right. Four edges at the top. Four at the bottom. Four up and down. Makes 12. That's right too, 12 edges. F for faces, E for edges, B for... V. V. A cube has a uh, corners. Oh, it begins with C. Yeah, but hang about it. The professor would have a word. Where edges meet in a point. A vertex. Right. The corners are vertices. V for vertices. So we count the number of vertices on a cube and put the number in here. Right. But there's nine more numbers to find. What do the other letters stand for? O, for instance. Note the safe and other furnishings. Oh, some solid object. Orange! It's got no edges, no vertices. Orchid! Eight faces! Octahedron! An orchid hasn't got eight faces? Not the orchid, the plant pot. That's an octahedron. It's not solid. It doesn't have to be solid right through. It's still got faces, edges, and vertices, and we can count them. You're right. O for octahedron. D. Some other shape, beginning with D. Mm. Sam! What is it? That lampshade. There's a name for that shape, beginning with D. Do something. Dodecahedron. Dodecahedron, that's it. That leaves us with one more letter, T. T. Something with edges. And vertices. How about this? A tetrahedron. T for tetrahedron. The last one. Now all we have to do is count the number of faces, edges and vertices. Fill in the table. And find the combination to the safe. Will Rick and Sam crack the combination, find the formula and foil the factor? How many corners has a cube? Tot up the tetrahedron and tie up the table before the next hair-raising helping of... Maths Bar.